Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Force here with some more Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. Today we're taking another look at adventure mode, but this time we'll be looking at the Nephilim Rift system. So in the last video we looked at bounties, in which you go through an act, you complete all of these objectives, and then once you do all five, you get yourself a nice bonus and a Herodra cache, which not only gives you sweet loot, but also drops a Rift Keystone. Now this Rift Keystone has one sole use, and that is to open up Nephilim Rifts, and that's what we're going to be doing here, and we'll be talking about this whole system and how it works. So, it doesn't matter where you open up a Nephilim Rift, you get one per game. Every game at Adventure Mode, you get one chance to open a Nephilim Rift, go through it, get your loot, and then if you want to do another Nephilim Rift, you have to start a new Adventure Mode game. I'm going to hop into the Rift. Uh, so what is this? This is a randomized dungeon. It's supposed to take 10 to 15 minutes, and when I say randomized, I mean randomized. Completely random interior or exterior tile sets. Uh, random layouts, random monsters, which can be from any of the acts, and so everything can be from any of the acts. The interior, exterior, layout, and monsters are all randomized from all five acts in the game. Now, these dungeons can be up to 10 levels deep, potentially, but even that's randomized, so they don't necessarily, they're not necessarily always going to be 10 levels deep. And you also don't need to necessarily do all 10 levels. Basically, how it works is a Nephilim Rift is going to require you to kill. Uh, a certain amount of monsters to fill up that progress bar. So you notice it's at zero percent right now. This is actually I'm getting, uh, I'm getting kind of destroyed here. Uh, you need to kill, you need to kill enough monsters to fill up that progress bar. Once it is at a hundred percent, you then fight a boss for that Nephilim Rift. Now that is not a literal hundred percent, and what I mean by that is you don't need to literally kill a hundred percent of the monsters in a Nephilim Rift dungeon. You just need to kill enough to fill up this bar. And the way it works generally is a average pack of monsters will give you about 1%. And a elite pack will give you 5 to 7% it seems. So I just got 1% for killing that small pack and now I've got this elite pack here. Which actually these guys might destroy me. I need to be very very careful. I'm going to try to bunch them up and stay away from their poison packs here. So you're gonna notice I'm at 8%. So now watch what happens. I, I kill one of those guys, it, it brought me up a 1%. I just killed a second, but I didn't go up a percent. But yeah, it's on average about five to 7% it seems for an elite pack. Once I kill the final guy in the elite pack, you'll see it jump up. So we're at 9% right now. Uh, we only gain 1% for killing the four minions that he had. But once we finish him, we jump up to 15. So there you go, we got a total of what was that seven percent there so yes it, it's it, it's anywhere i guess between five and seven maybe five and eight for an elite pack and one to two for an average pack of mobs so that's all you really need to know and it's essentially kill enough monsters fill up that bar and then you get a boss fight so that's what we're gonna do here in this video i'm just gonna take you through this entire thing again these these dungeons only on average take about 10 to 15 minutes so that's that's enough i can take you through it all and I'll try to make sure there's not too much downtime. And really, I mean, there, a, a lot of times these things are pretty jam-packed. But again, even monster density will be randomized. So sometimes you'll run through a single level and it'll be pretty sparse when it comes to enemies. But then you all of a sudden run to level two and you just, there's monsters everywhere. <laughs> and it's all sorts of crazy. All right, so there's nothing over here. So like I said, randomized tile sets. Uh, we happen to be in this flamey inferno here. Um, some of the Nephilim Rifts that I've done prior to recording this video were tile sets from Act 1, Act 5, Act 2. Uh, you don't know what you're going to get, and every single level is different. So when I move to level 2 here of the Skabalist approach, uh, it isn't going to be the same tile set. I guess it could be because it's randomized, but chances are that it's going to be another tile set from another act, and there is going to be another, a, a different set of monsters. We're just going to keep killing everything though, because again, we're trying to fill up that bar. Get to that 100% and then find, get the uh, final boss here in the Nephilim Rift. Now beyond any loot that you get from any elite packs that you fight, as well as the final boss, you also, for completing a Nephilim Rift, you get yourself, it, you get yourself a greater Herodric Cache. Now, the Herodric Cache, you get a normal one when you do the bounty system, complete all the bounties in a particular act. And this is a greater Herodric Cache, which, as you would assume, gives you a greater chance to get better and more items. Couple of these guys here. Shoot them in the face, okay. Do, 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 do. I really hope I want to find uh, the second level for you. 
because I'd like to again show you show you the the multiple tile sets and all that sort of stuff that's potential. We've got an elite pack here. Definitely gonna finish uh, finish off these guys because again they're gonna give me a high percentage. Gonna give me a high percentage fill up on that progress bar. Okay, so we're at we're at about 32 right now. Well, no, we're at exactly 32. So let's see what happens when we finish off the boss here of this elite pack. Again, it should be somewhere between five and seven percent that we get from it. Let's drop that down on his head. Pretty tough too. I mean, right now I'm playing in farm mode. I'm only playing on hard. All right, so that jumped us up to 39. So you can see again a pretty significant leap. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, so here we go, level two. Let's see what we get. Oh man, that makes me sad. <laughs> I wanted I wanted to clearly display to you guys how it's not necessarily going to be the same tile set. I might just run through this level and skip a lot of these enemies just for the sake of showing you that it, it can and a lot of times is a different tile set for the multiple levels. All right, let's see here. Okay, so I'm just gonna run through. When I see big packs, I might, I might as well face them. And even after we fight the boss, oh my lord, that's just a lot of expl I am, whew, I am really shocked that they didn't die there. There was a lot of explosions that just happened. So I'm gonna fight any elite packs that I come across or any large, uh, huge clumps of monsters. But beyond that, I think I'm just going to run through to try to get to, uh, to the third level of this dungeon. So as I mentioned, it can be up to 10 levels. Uh, not guaranteed, though. Could be could be less. I don't think it can be more. I'm not sure. I don't. Yeah, I don't think it can be more because they said uh, when I looked it up and from personal experience, uh, it said up to 10. So I'm assuming there's not an opportunity for more. I guess we'll fight these guys. Pretty uh, puny amount. I've got my uh, great movement in my reduced cooldown and longer duration uh, little horse charge here. Let's keep moving. Ah, there's another uh, rare pack right here. Stay out of there, bees. Okay. All right. Whew. Maybe get out of. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh, I didn't move out in time. That is severely depressing. All right, well, at least we can revive a corpse. <laughs> yeah, we're getting close to 100% now. Well, not really. We're at 65, so still a little bit more to go. Yeah, getting kind of close, though. This will jump us up to somewhere over 70, most likely. Once we kill this final guy here. Gosh, these ones, these poison, those poison trails do significant damage. It's kind of crazy. Okay. I need to get out of here. Woo! All right, I should be able to revive here since we're in Berserk's mode. So, there we go. Really, uh, this, this guy, really annoying, especially in close quarters. Man, oh man. All right, so that jumps us up to 73 at least. At least we got, <laughs> at least all that uh, depressing Depressingly difficult fight turned out to be worth it. And I think this will be a good pack to fight here. Especially in these close quarters. What is this, Electrified? Oh no, more of this Poison Glob. Gosh, I really don't like those in these super tight quarters. Does he not go up the stairs? Yes, the thing does go up the stairs, but I think we'll be okay. I'm taking a more cautious approach this time. Oh gosh, exploding dudes. Oh no, another elite pack. I can't stay away from those. Is he dead? Did we get them? Yes, fantastic. Fantastic, that's pretty glorious actually. And we got another pack here. And actually, so before we get to the next area, it looks like we're going to be um, fighting the Rift boss here. What is up? Like, all of these guys have these poison trails. I despise them, really. And this guy's also prison. Prison. <laughs> Man, arcane enchanted prison. 
That's ridiculous. Obviously, you know, we killed him without too much difficulty. All right, we are just about there. 92% now. Here we go, third level. Please be different. There it is. Okay, so you can see a different layout here. Different zone. And sometimes it's been stark contrast. It hasn't even been remotely similar, so that's always nice to have, too. These ones, obviously, there's been a common thread running through it. But that's okay, because every new Nephilim Rift that you do, you're going to, again, continue that randomization. And I think that really the biggest thing is the fact that it's the randomized enemies that you're going to get from any of the acts. And I think that's really... Makes for fun times. 98%. Here he comes. There it is. Now we've got a random boss to fight. Rift Guardian. Who is this guy? The Sand Shaper. Let's see what he does. I don't think I fought... I don't think I fought this particular boss yet. I haven't found the Rift Bosses to be too, too difficult, but I am also playing on farming mode. Uh, I'm not playing on, like, the hardest possible difficulty that I could trudge through. Because I'm preferring to try to do it a little more quickly to get more gear. And I've consistently been getting upgrades as well from doing this. Uh, it seems like Adventure Mode is just a really great place to get upgrades, period. I mean, I recently got a one-handed weapon that was, I think, like a... It was like a 700 DPS increase to what I had prior uh, running through campaign mode, so kind of crazy. Let's go ahead and go into Berserk's mode, get our increased Wrath regenera uh, Generation. The guy's trying to slow me up. And we got this over here. Yeah, I love how I say he hasn't been too difficult and he's actually doing a pretty good number on me here. Careful though. I'm gonna try not to walk through those tornadoes if at all possible. And oh come on, we're so close. Please don't. There we go. Oh, all right. So he's no, he's not dead. Yes, he is. He's dead. We got some gear off of him. But the big thing, the big thing is heading back to town, speaking to Auric, and getting our greater Herodric cash. Hopefully, we get some baller loot in this. Again, it should be better. Potentially than what we get from a normal Haradra crack cache. So here's Auric. Give me my uh, We also obviously get some blood shards there, which is the new currency used to purchase uh, stuff at these two NPCs And then the greater Haradra cache. Let's open it up and see what comes out Come on, ah Hoping for legendaries always hoping for legendaries didn't end up getting it. all right Let's take a look at how our run did for us if we got any upgrades. That's some more damage on that uh, More toughness from that Although, overall, it seems like none of this stuff's really that great. I don't know. Probably not. Uh, less damage, but more defense. Yeah, it doesn't look like we got anything that great this run, unfortunately. Uh, those gems are nice. Everything else is pretty much just going to be disenchant fodder. But that is a look at a Nephilim Rift. Now, as I mentioned, it is one Nephilim Rift per game. So um, we're here in Act 1. If I go to check, you know, Act 2, you can see it says we've already completed the Nephilim Rift. And if I go over here... You can see it's going to be the same Nephilim Rift that's open. It takes us to the same randomized dungeon. So every time you want to do a new Nephilim Rift, you're going to have to get, uh, use a new Rift key and then also start a brand new game. But that's a look at the Nephilim Rift system here in Adventure Mode in Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. Thank you guys so much for wa or watching. Once again, just as a quick recap, you get yourself a Rift key by doing the bounties in an act uh, from a Herodric Cache. You do five bounties, you get your reward, and the Herodric Cache gives you a Rift Key. Open up the Nephilim uh, Rift at the Nephilim Obelisk. It's going to give you a randomized dungeon, 10 to 15 minutes, random interior, exterior layouts, and monsters from all of the acts up to 10 levels deep. Uh, you complete the progress bar up to 100%, you kill the boss, and then that's that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like the content, please subscribe. Stay tuned for more Diablo 3 and other great gaming coverage here on the channel. Keep watching and keep owning.